the first part of this equation is going to be how much you want your strength to be, right? So let's say that you're cleaning a asphalt roof that's pretty nasty. Uh, you ask somebody and you're like, hey, you know, a uh, guy on Facebook group, how am I supposed to go about cleaning this roof? And he's like, I would apply a 5% strength if I were you. So this is the strength of the actual application that you're putting on that surface, right? And then the second number that you're going to divide that by is going to be the strength of your bleach. Now, a lot of people uh, don't realize that there are different types of, of bleach as far as strength goes. So you'll have a 10% bleach, which is something you're probably going to find at Home Depot or Walmart, something of that nature. The 12.5% sodium hypochlorite, or a more pure form of bleach, is actually going to be found at pool supply stores, um, usually as some type of wholesaler of that nature. So let's just say, for example, you use the 10% strength you bought at Home Depot, and you need a 5% application strength, right? So a little bit different than the actual the strength of the bleach, this is gonna be the application strength. And that number that it's going to give you, which that number right there is going to be 0.5, that number that it's going to give you is going to be the amount of uh, surf, uh, SH that you need to put in your five gallon bucket in order to have what they call 5% strength, okay? So if you're putting 0.5 into five gallon bucket, what you're gonna to do to figure that out is obviously times 0.5 by five gallons, and what you get is 2.5 gallons. So you're, if you're soft washing, you're gonna fill this bucket up halfway and you're gonna fill the, other buck, uh, the rest of the bucket up with water, okay? And what that's going to give you is 50% bleach and 50% water, which is a 5% strength. And this is strictly for soft washing. The reason I say that is, if you were to take two and a half gallons and you put it in this five gallon bucket and fill the rest up with water, what you would be doing or what you would be applying is not a uh, 0.5 uh, or a 5% ratio, right? You're actually applying less. And the reason being is downstream injectors uh, usually mix whatever chemical you have in your bucket with a four to one ratio, which is about 80% water to 20% chemical. So if you're at a 50% bleach, 50% water right here, imagine when you add another 80% water to that 50% mix okay so now you have much 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 less strength in your mix that's being applied to let's say that asphalt shingled roof that's pretty nasty and that's why it's not coming up the other thing is going to that you're going to notice with downstreaming is going to be that you cannot get higher than 20 per, uh, 20 percent bleach in your mix or a two percent mix the reason being is because when you downstream you can't pull more than that four to one ratio that it's mixing. So let's say hypothetically, I have this 5% mix and I'm downstreaming it. Let's say that this right here is my downstream device, right? This is the little nipple that pokes out of the top. This comes off of the machine and this has a water fed um, hose right here that comes from the water tank, right? It's feeding water into your machine and then that water is coming out of the machine this way all the way down to where your gun is at, you're spraying camera water, right? So this part right here, this nipple connects to a hose that goes into your chem tank, right? So essentially what you do when you change the tip at the end of your gun, you're changing the pressure that's in this hose. And when you change the tip to something that is a uh, narrow or orifice, right? So anything that is extremely high pressured, like a, a green tip, uh, if you will, a 15, 25 degree tip put on that is not going to allow you to draw any chem because there's a little, and when the pressure is super high going through this hose, it sucks that ball down and it prevents any chemical from flowing around the ball, okay? But the moment you change the tip to something that is low pressure or a chemical application tip, if you're using color tips, it would be something like the, the black tip, uh, what you want to do is when you change that out, this ball is going to kind of float up a little bit and it's going to allow chemical to go around it and be mixed in with your water that is already coming from your tank and through your machine. So what I'm telling you is even if you had straight bleach in your chem tank, the most your chemical injector is going to allow it to mix is four to one, meaning 80% water and 20% bleach. Well, 20% bleach out of a hundred gives you a 
2% mix. Move the decimal point, right? So if you're using 10% SH, it would be a 10, it would be a 2% mix. If you're using 12.5, your math is going to work out a little bit differently, but not much differently. And um, you will see that that's the highest you can get out of your chemical injector. So if you are going to wash a roof and you need something like a 5% strength, then you are going to have to use a straight application method like a 12 volt pump, a booster pump, uh, or a hand pump of some sort. So just to better understand why chemical injectors are different. Now, all that means is that you need to know that 80% of whenever you hook up to your chemical injector, 80% is going to be water. You need to know that before you mix. That's the only difference, right? So let's go back to our buckets. Let's say that you're soft washing and um, you need to have a 2% mix, right? And then over here, you're going to have a 2% mix. These are your buckets. So follow along with me, make sure that you can do this before the video ends so that you can go back to your shop or open up shop tomorrow and, and know how to mix chemicals. So if this is soft washing and you need a 2% mix, what you would try to find out is you put your 2% there and you would divide that by, let's say 10, because that's what you got from the store. And that comes out to 0.2, right? So on a soft wash, what we would want to do, this is a five gallon bucket, we would say 0.2 times five gallons, and that's going to equal one gallon, right? So on a soft wash, all we would put in bleach for this five gallon bucket is one gallon. The rest of this is going to be water because what you're going to do when you apply it, it is already set up at the 2% strength. You're not mixing it anymore. It's come, there's a tube coming out of your tank, you have your soft wash pump, and then you have your hose and gun. There is no water mixing anywhere in between coming out of the tank and coming out of the end of the gun. Okay, now let's focus on downstreaming for a second. So if you wanted to downstream, you would use the same equation. All right, I want a 2% strength. I have a 10% strength bleach. That leaves me with 0.2. Okay, so it's telling me that my final application mix needs to be one gallon of water for every four gallons, uh, I'm sorry, one gallon of bleach for every four gallons of water. Well, I already know that my chemical injector is going to mix in four gallons of water for me. So all I have to do is fill my bucket completely full of bleach and drop my downstream tube in there. And once it hits the chemical injector, it will mix 80% water. And what comes out of my gun is not the same as what came out of my tank. What comes out of my gun is the 2% strength, not the 100% bleach that we have over here in the tank. So that's the difference in how you set up your chemical mixes if you're soft washing or you're downstreaming. And this is how you better understand how to go about where your final application method should be, right? We're both at point two. It's just at what stage are we getting point two? Are we getting it in the tank and then directly applying it? Or are we getting it uh, at the end here when we do apply it, but we're drawing from 100% because there's a mixture in the middle here that's not happening here. I hope that this is more informative and it better uh, helps you understand how to either downstream and mix or soft wash and mix and better uh, how to understand the equation that you need to use in order to determine how much bleach you're supposed to put in there uh, just to make sure that you're not uh, putting something too strong or too weak on a substance because if you're putting it too weak and you're having to reapply you're wasting time which is money if you're using too much of it you could hurt the substance you could also kill any kind of plants around it but you're also wasting money because you're using more chemical than it's necessary to complete the job so you always want to take a look at this now one thing i will say is that what we didn't talk about in this video is surfactant in the first example I gave you guys, you wanted a 50, uh, a 5% mix, which is going to be 50% bleach and 50% water. Now, with that being said, a lot of people are going to tell you that while you're roof washing, you need to have some type of surfactant. And this is why they're giving you that advice. A surfactant is going to help that bleach cling to the surface. So when you apply it, it doesn't run off as quickly, which means you get to use less bleach and it stays to the surface and continues to work longer. The backslide to that is that sometimes surfactant can be very expensive. So make sure you're using a good surfactant that will uh, hold the moisture and hold the bleach and cling really well. 
Um, and make sure that you're uh, you know, using caution when you do that, because at the end of the day, if you use just bleach, um, you would still be able to, with no surfactant, still be able to soft wash a roof. Again, you wouldn't be able to downstream because you'll never get more than 0.2. If this example that we had set up was a 5% mix, the answer over here is that you can't do this. We already filled it straight full of bleach, so we can't put any more bleach in this bucket to make it any stronger, right? But if you are soft washing and you're applying that, if you want to use some surfactant, do a research on a surfactant and then make that build that into your mix. Um, if you decide to do roof washes without a surfactant, then just know that you are uh, going to waste a little bit of bleach and that you might want to bring more bleach on hand than you would if you were using one. So hopefully this will help you. Again, please subscribe to the YouTube channel for us. We release a lot of videos during the week. And if you're not a subscriber, you don't get notified when we add the video. Therefore, you're missing valuable information that could really make a difference in your business. So it's free information. Just subscribe and make sure you tune into the next video. If you have any questions, comment below or go to our Facebook page, Trade School Consulting, and you can private message us directly. Or you can email us at info at tradeschoolconsulting.com. Thank you again, guys. Uh, I hope pressure washing goes well. I hope the mixing is a little bit easier to understand. Have a good week, and I'll see you next time.